Ruiz. Um, what's your take on that? And why couldn't you come out with three wins? Well, I would agree with you. I think we had better legal minds, and we had the facts on our side and the law on our side. And it's always helpful as a as a trial lawyer. It's always nice to have the facts and the law on your side. Um, and I think the biggest problem was is that those members came in with a political agenda, politically partisan agenda, with their minds already made up. And uh, with the exception of a few of them, I think they just voted along party lines. Chairman, at one point you said, I, I think that you were embarrassed by the proceedings. Can you expand on that and, and what you were referring to? Well, I mean, it's em embarrassing that we're talking about expelling three members from this body for um, a, a a minor violation of House rules. I mean, I think at the end of the day, once the facts were sussed out, I think they're claiming that um, they violated the House rules for about anywhere from four to 15 seconds is what it m amounted to. So it's embarrassing that we are, you know, holding expulsion uh, hearings for that type of behavior. Those things, it's, a, it's an extraordinary process and extraordinary punishment for what actually happened and I think you heard a lot of hyperbole I think you heard a lot of exaggeration and misrepresentation about what actually occurred on this floor um, and you know trying to blindside us with a video that we were not told about that was highly edited um, that was actually made in violation of the house rules uh, you know due process was required in these instances there are property rights involved and so um, you know, anything that's going to blatantly violate due process is, is an embarrassment to the you state of Tennessee. You mentioned party lines, sir. Do you think if the roles were reversed and this was a Democratic-led House, the Republicans, or, pardon me, do you think if the Republicans were up there, three Republicans instead of three Democrats, yes, do you think that they would get off? Do you think that this would not even occur? This is kind of swept under the rug. I don't think you would have ever had resolutions filed to expel members for what occurred. Well, sh she should have survived the vote. She shouldn't even had a vote to begin with. Um, the facts and the law were on her side. And that's, uh, I think you heard my closing argument um, in that case, and I pretty much summarized it in that. Um, she shouldn't have been expelled. Neither should have the other two. And I think it's very unfortunate that two people were expelled. How do you think this will change things going forward? I know April, obviously, we're toward the end of session here, and it's a big month for legislation. I'm just like, you know, seeing your colleagues who are kind of more green on that board than red. How does that change things? Mm -hmm. Mr. Chairman, 